Hey everyone, I'm Big John and welcome to another episode of the Diz Ability Show. Now, this week I want, last week we talked about food allergies and alternate food tips. This week I want to talk to you about mobile ordering. Now, a lot of the uh, quick service restaurants at Walt Disney World have quick service and especially with the pandemic you don't want you don't want people waiting in long lines and and it is very simple to do you use your my disney experience app do a mobile ordering look for a quick service at the park or location you're in place your order for everyone and it'll let you know when your food is ready you can go to the restaurant aunt and uh, they'll have a uh quick service line on one of the sides i think that the, that is the case at the uh at cosmic rays last april when we did it and it is great that way you don't have to hassle waiting in line getting all your food and but while everyone else is getting the food you can send another person from your party to find a table which is something i do and we usually find a, a nice, quiet location where away from the other crowds in, in the building. And you don't have to do the, the uh, sit table service restaurants all the time when you're on vacation. It's nice to have that fast food, but not fast food feeling. Like I said last week, you can replace your soda with a water or junk food with an apple or something like that. It will... You don't, like I said last week, you don't have to eat junk food on vacation. And I highly suggest mobile ordering when you want, when some, especially on a crowded day and you don't want to wait in a long line to get your food. So anyway, that's my tip. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities. And I'll make sure it gets into a future episode. Now it's time for this week's Top 5. Now. There are many great occasions to visit the Disney parks. So amazing. And different times of the year. And some very traditional times of the year. So many momentous occasions that you would want to go to the parks for. So this week we're going to do the top five special occasions for visiting Disney. Number five... The Food and Wine Festival, which of course Epcot has during the fall, and Disney's California Adventure over at Disneyland has during the spring. Kind of confusing, ain't it? <laughs> anyway. So, it's a great place to get some, to try some amazing food and of course wine from all over the world. And... Many, so many different offerings and such. Of course, Disney's California Adventures Food and Wine, which is going on right now, they have their original Soarin' Over California for for that festival. I, I wit, Disney, if you're watching, I wouldn't mind writing Soar, the original Soarin' for any of the, the Epcot festivals. Just saying. Uh, but it's a great one. Number four, sticking with the Epcot theme, the Flower and Garden Festival. Now, Flower and Garden is huge. We go down for Flower and Garden every April. We'll be there next month. And it is perhaps the, the most beautiful time of the year to visit Epcot. Because you've got the topiaries of all the various Disney characters all over the park. You got... The, of course, the flower bed and right outside the Imagination Pavilion. It, that's such a beautiful sight, especially when the monorail goes over it. And we, we, just, we absolutely love going there for Flower and Garden. Number three, birthdays. Now, we're going to have a birthday trip coming up this summer for me. And it's great because... You get to celebrate your birthday at the most magical place on earth. And it's very special. 
and you'll feel like a king for a day. And I know at Disneyland, when it's your birthday, you go to Main Street and you'll get a phone call from Goofy. I don't know if they still do that, but that would be pretty cool. But that is a great, it's a great thing to do. If it, if you're going to Disney for your birthday, it'll be something, it'll be one you won't forget. Number two, park anniversaries. Now, of course, unless you've been living under a rock, you know oh, that we are in the middle of Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration, a an 18 month long festivities celebrating 50 years of course of the most magical place on earth and of course Disneyland Paris is celebrating its 30th anniversary celebrations right now and a lot of people don't know this is that Epcot will turn 40 this October 1st so and last year we went on Animal Kingdom's birthday which of course was Earth Day last April it was amazing. So many photo ops. I met a couple of my fellow vloggers. And it, it's so... And we love... I think it feels like a once-in-a-lifetime thing for most people to be on the park on the birthday of its opening. And now my number one special occasion for visiting the parks, the holidays. Now, of course... Christmas is the big one. It Christmas time is when it gets packed. But so many great things at Christmas. Of course, you got the Christmas parade, the all the Christmas tree, the Christmas music at the Magic Kingdom, candlelight at Epcot, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam at Hollywood Studios. But that's not the only holiday that I'm talking about here. Easter is also very big because as we'll be there in, in East, this Easter and we'll get to see the, the the girls in their flower dresses, which of course is a Magic Kingdom tradition on, on Easter. I don't know if they'll be doing the uh, the Easter pre-parade yet. Hopefully they, they'll do it. Uh, I remember first seeing it five years ago when we were there for Easter the first time around. Um... Also, of course, you got the Easter eggs all over at the hotels and all made by cast members and they are so beautiful to look at. Halloween is a is a pretty big time with the boobash and hopefully not so scary if, if that if that decides to be a comeback. But I think it's gonna be pretty good and and, of course, the 4th of July is a real packed holiday because they have special 4th of July fireworks. The Voices of Liberty perform on, at the American Gardens Theater, which is now back to their one-time-a-year thing. But if you were, but I highly suggest going to Disney during one of these special times because it, it won't... It'll be a, an experience you will never forget. So, anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite... If you've ever or been to Disney for a very special occasion. And now, it is time for the final round of March Madness. Now, you can vote in the comments, and if you're a member of my Disney Vlog Squad or con or the Content Creators groups on Facebook, you can vote there too. But this is going to be, perhaps, the toughest Mart matchup we've ever had. That's probably because... This is the final matchup. It's Star Wars Rise of the Resistance versus our reigning champion, Splash Mountain. Again, this is going to be a toughie. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. This is going to be... This is going to come down to the wire, I think. Because you got Classic versus New... And if you remember last year, you remember that Splash Mountain beat Millennium Falcon. But since Rise is more popular than the Falcon, that could give it the edge. So, I don't really know how to how to vote this one. I, I really don't. 
But remember, I'm o I'm only the tiebreaker if necessary. You're, the votes are in your hands. And of course, the final matchup is also I posted on my Instagram, Big Zone M96, and you can vote under the comments on that too. It's going to be very close. I'm just gonna say it. And, and remember, voting ends Thursday. Actually, you know what? This week, because of thing, because I got, because we'll be going, because I'll be getting ready to go to a wedding on Thursday. The voting will end Wednesday night. Wednesday night is when the votes will be due. So anyway, that's this week's show. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how to do this for people with disabilities. Now make sure it gets into a future episode. All right, for this week's shout-outs, make sure you check out Tanya, a.k.a. That Crazy Disney Lady. She does amazing live streams from the parks almost every single day. Make sure you check her out. Also, make sure you check out my friend Julia, her Facebook group, Dream to Stream. She does amazing live streams on her Facebook group whenever she's not working. Make sure you check her out. Also, make sure you check out Drew in the Moment. He does amazing YouTube live streams from the parks. All right, so he does a Magic Kingdom every Sunday. Make sure you you check out his, his stuff. Also, make sure you check out Theme Park Lifestyle. That's life with a Y and not an I. They do great theme attraction videos there. And, of course, for the latest attraction news, make sure you check out my good friends over at Attractions Magazine. And if you have not yet subscribed here yet to the Big John Network, what in the Walt Disney World are you waiting for? And tap the bell for notifications so you never miss a second of the fun. And until next time, have a zippity doo da day. Thank you.